welcome and hello in this short video i'm going to show you a practical example how to move a power app from one tenant to another one so i have a couple of apps here and this is the one i want to export first uh, this is a manual step to do so i use this option it's called export package When I click on export package, I can give this export a name. Then I can put the environment if needed. I just leave it as a default. Um, here, uh, if since I, I move this package to another tenant, I can uh, select create as new for this option. So basically all of these update options are uh, replaced with create as new. And then this one's uh, selected urine import. I think I cannot modify them. Yes, they cannot be modified. So uh, then I click export. The package has been generated and it takes a moment then it should be downloaded locally to my PC. Yes, so here is the package, it's downloaded. And then what, what I want to do is to import it uh, to the new tenant. Uh, I go to the new tenant. Here, um, it's important to understand, for example, if I go under solutions, and this is how Microsoft documentation tells to do, and then I, I try to import this solution. Uh, then under downloads, I look T1, the zip package. And I click next and I get this error. That happened to me a couple of times when I tried with flows or with power apps. So, then we go another way. We do not use this one. I click cancel. Instead, I actually go to apps and then there is an option called import canvas app. From this canvas app, I uh, select the file. The file has been uploaded to this new environment. And after it's been uploaded, you see there are two red things here and import is grayed out. So basically I have to modify this a little bit. Uh, what I have, I, I already have the connection created. If you have nothing here, then just go ahead and create a new connection. For example, this is a SharePoint connection, so you should create a SharePoint connection. And this is a mail connection. So uh, basically I select this one and then I select also the mail connection and I click import. What the system does, then it creates this uh, power app. It also creates flows, which were part of this package. Uh, and uh, let's have a look how it looks like. It takes a little bit of time to do it. Um, the most important thing to remember, of course, I'll get a lot of errors in this app because, well, first thing, the SharePoint list does not exist, which this app has been using. And, you know, some, some, for example, this account, it's totally different one. Uh, so I'll get some permissions issues, but uh, the, the package has been imported. So let's have a look. When I look at the package, uh, the first thing to do uh, is to check the 
So here I can select this to uh, connections. And then of course, I uh, have some, some red things here. When I have a look on the accessibility, I have a lot of errors saying that, uh, you know, with something with permissions, right? Because this list does not exist. So of course I'll get a lot of errors, but it is expected. But you get an idea, right? So if you want to move an app, you go to one tenant, you select, uh, basically navigate to the app, just to summarize, select the app, export the package, and then in the new tenant, you would be able to go to this app. Do not go on the solutions, just go to apps, and then import Canvas app, and it should do the trick. Of course, you have to update the connections and then uh, create some lists and uh, rebuild these connections, and it should work. So thank you for, for watching and have a great day. Stay healthy.